this is Dr. Rebecca Cooper and I've just made a short series of videos about COVID and some of the things that people want to know or that aren't clear. And the first thing is just on how the virus works. So COVID is caused by a coronavirus um, and what that virus does is it enters your body and it attaches to the ACE2 receptors of your of your body now the ace2 receptors are responsible for putting the brakes on our inflammatory system so normally what would happen is a virus um, or a bacteria enters our body our body recognizes it as foreign and we launch an immune response um, an immune or inflammatory response we we launch it at our good soldiers that go to the virus and fight it and overcome it now what happens in coronavirus or COVID is that beginning phase happens which is when people have the cough or the the the, the cold the flu-like symptoms that that is what's happening but because the COVID um, virus the coronavirus attacks the, the the receptor that puts the brakes on some people get an overabundance of that um, immune response so the people who end up in hospital that shortness of breath that pneumonia that um yeah severe being able to not breathe that is because of your immune response to the virus because we can't halt that because the brakes have been cut so we launch an over response to the virus in our bodies and where this is important is where the quarantine time comes into play. So although we say you are infected, that's why we say you're infected for 10 days after the onset of symptoms, because that is the viral stage. And after that, um, although you may still have symptoms, particularly the shortness of breath, the cough, the tiredness can last for quite a long time you are not considered infectious anymore because those symptoms are caused by an immune response, your body's response to the virus. So there's the viral phase and then the inflammatory or immune response to the virus.